and action. Hi, I'm Patrick Gosling. You're watching Steve Punk, and uh, we're at the bunker. So, I uh, make sure to check out my music, Patrick Gosling. Uh, nice one. Thanks a lot, Patrick. Mm hmm. I want to give a huge shout out to the independent music venue as well. Let's check out, um, because I don't know about the copyright on this, but let's see Patrick playing in his band at the Independent, just for a few seconds. I didn't record anything else when I was in the bunker the day, the bunker recording studios that is, but we have finally came to the three main songs that we'll be sticking with, and these are basically Bob Marley and Three Little Birds, Let It Be by The Beatles. Right? And Seven Nation Army by the White Stripes. Remember, <laughs> this is just my advice to you, okay? Be careful with barbecue sauce. Let's just say I've got it everywhere and it's all over the back of my phone from last night. And I need to use a wet wipe and, well, who doesn't need a wet wipe at some point in time? But I need to clean this phone off. It's just, uh, all stuck on the back of the phone. I will try to get these video parts in the best order. Uh, my female core vocalist told me that my voice matches the White Stripes as Seven Nation Army. I've noticed that if I use my own voice, it matches it so much better than going at least one octave higher. Or like I heard somebody on YouTube call it an octave. Never heard it called that before, but it does make sense. For example, if you look at the word have, H-A-V-E, it could be an octave or an octave. So about my actual voice, let's just use my own voice and not try to harmonise when I'm currently not very good at it. I was talking to somebody and it turns out that she is the vocal coach she is a vocal coach and a few weeks ago when I first met her I, like we were just talking very briefly outside of the bunk bars, like the building and I really had no idea that she's actually a professional vocal coach we were talking about Tim Burton movies and we have a lot in common. Cool. She invited me to go to the 
lessons of singing, basically. Like a singing group, and she will help me work on my singing voice. But every day, I think my voice is just getting croakier and croakier. Even though I wasn't singing too bad today. But yeah, we were talking about our film interests. Like Girl Interrupted, Beetlejuice, Donnie Darko, because I mentioned her tattoo. And I was like, yeah, it's certainly not a film that you can just watch once and take everything in. It's one of those that, like, you need to watch it again to answer, like, get your own questions answered. And every time you watch these films, you pick up on new things that you hadn't noticed before. I'm like that every time I've watched Girl Interrupted. If you are easily upset by traumatic scenes, I wouldn't suggest watching Girl Interrupted. There's one scene that absolutely destroys me, where Brittany Murphy, playing the part of Daisy, where she talks about what her father did at I can't deal with scenes like that. I kept walking to the bus station. So, like, I can very easily get a bus back home. But I just kept thinking... I don't like this town. Well, this area of the town that I live in. I wanted to stay in Sunderland. Let's just say as long as possible. So now I'll we'll take it back a bit. I was talking to Jamie, who is... Our... Main shooter now because unfortunately unfortunately for us Kieran has gone off to do training on something else Kieran if you're watching this we miss you bro you sarcastic twat and I was going to give you some Jaffa cakes see how many you can eat because I've seen something on some YouTube video from a few years ago, I think it is now, about Kieran's Jaffa cake consumption. Um, if I can find it, I'll put it in the video right now. If not, let's just get on with the next part. I found this image from an old failed video of mine, so hopefully you get my point. We used to be in two separate groups. And mine, group one, I think people are calling that group one anyway. If you don't know already, I named it after writing well over 50 band names and I finally settled on N.E. Rivers because we're all from the Northeast. I think everyone is anyway. So, Northeast Rivers or N.E. Rivers, everybody seems to want to stick with that. Awesome. As there are so many, like, the best way I can think of putting this is cultural divides or something. Like, there's so many differences and so many people hate other people. Let's just bring it all together. 
like Newcastle and Sunderland big enemies. So, with me being from this town of South Shields, um, I've often felt torn between Sunderland and Newcastle. And as I live close to the River Tyne, and then you have the River Weir over in Sunderland, so you have like the Newcastle Bridge leading northwards, and then like North Shields is along close to the northeast coast. Ah, uh, check out the map. <laughs> It'll be so much easier on me. Thank you for doing so. So basically, we we'll have like Newcastle to the west of the town of South Shields, and then Sunderland is somewhat south of where I am sat right now. Let's just get these rivers together. And there's no need for this massive cultural divide. You can have the River Tyne folk, as I am, and the River Weir folk come together and we all get along. There's no need for... I can't even find the word. Well, it's hatred that people have. Let's stop all that. Sunderland, Newcastle, just get along. You don't need to fucking kill anybody just because they're from a different town and they have a completely different way of talking. Mm-hmm. Stop the violence. Right? Now that there are not two groups, we're just like a super group. There are way too many members in here. Like I mentioned. This is like Slipknot. But even more members. But we're not playing Slipknot tracks. Even though I mentioned that to Ethan. And he thought I was serious. That was like the first time. Round like on the first level of this. Kind of course. I'm rambling on. I'm sorry. So when we were in like a main studio where a lot of bands have recorded I know Bjork has been there The Clash have even played there I think The Clash I mean I'm not a huge fan of The Clash but come on it's, that's like standard classic punk and I do like them. I'm just not like a massive fan. Uh, anyway, so taking this talking video back quite a bit. And because there are three tracks that we're working on, which I showed you earlier, like early in the video. I asked him about like a... Because we might be doing a fourth track, I let Jamie know that I uh, have this playlist in YouTube, and I think it would suit every instrument. And like, there are so many people there that would like every single song in that playlist. And Jamie told me to just something like bring something or other along he mentioned presenting this playlist to the group or like the band as a whole at the end of that session next week then he said no I'll do that at the start of the session which is great so music that I choose 
suitable for most, if not all, people in the band. Yeah, we're going to select something from that as a fourth track. I do sometimes change what is in that playlist. Let's see how that goes anyway. I know, it's about time that I rounded this video up. I had a nice chat. Mm, yeah, I choose to not say names, but two of the females. One of which doesn't want to be in YouTube. I fully respect that. That's perfectly fine. So I was, I was talking to those two sisters on a nice walk after coming out of the bunker. And like, well, this is well before I kept going back there because I'm kind of addicted to the place. <laughs> um. Yeah, and we just stood talking for a while. Oh, great, phone shutting down. I'll come back to this when I've got some more power in it. I don't think... I'll just quickly end this video by... ...saying... ...everybody that I know from the bunker, you are awesome. I don't know what's going on with my left eye there, but... Whatever. Yeah, thank you everybody at the bunker, the staff, my band members, the music groups as a whole. Patrick Gosling. Oh, there are so many people I could mention, but thanks for watching this one. Peace out.